Hi everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to talk about the anatomy of the knee joint. So the knee joint is one of the most complex and important joints in the body. It plays a crucial role in movement, supporting body weight and allowing for activities such as walking, running, jumping and sitting. So let's get started with the bones of the knee. The knee joint is formed by the articulation of three main bones the femur, the tibia, and the patella. Now, the femur is also called the thigh bone, and the distal or the lower part of the femur has two rounded protrusions called condyles. They are the medial and the lateral condyle, and they articulate with the tibia. Now, the tibia, also called the shin bone. The proximal end of the tibia contains the tibia plateau, which interacts with the femoral condyles, which are the lateral and the medial condyle, and then the patella, also called the kneecap. This triangular-shaped sesamoid bone is embodied within the quadricep tendon and helps to improve efficiency of knee extension. Now let's talk about the ligaments of the knee. The ligaments of the knee are tough bands of connective tissues that stabilize the knee joint. Now, there are actually four main ligaments of the knee joint. Number one is the anterior crescent ligament, which is also called the ACL. It helps to prevent excessive movement of the tibia relative to the femur and controls rotational stability. Then number two is the posterior crescent ligament, which is the PCL. It prevents the tibia from moving to backward and provides stability. Number three, the medial collateral ligament, which is also called MCL, provides stability for the inner side of the knee and it also prevents excessive inward movement. Then finally, number four is the lateral collateral ligament, which is LCL. They stabilize the outer side of the knee and they prevent excessive outward movement. So as you can see, it has four major ligaments. The anterior crochet ligament and the posterior crochet ligament. Now you can remember this ones easily. And then when you think of medial and lateral, it has the medial collateral ligament and the lateral collateral ligament. Now let's talk about the cartilage and the meniscus. The cartilage and the menisci plays essential roles in shock absorption and smooth movement. So the first, we have the articular cartilage. The articular cartilage covers the end of the femur, tibia, and the back of the patella. It reduces friction and allows smooth movement. Then the menisci, which is the medial and lateral, they are these crescent-shaped fibrocartilage structures act as shock absorbers and they distribute the weight equally and enhance joint stability. Now let's talk about the muscles and the tendons of the knee. The muscles and tendons of the knee work together to provide movement and stability. And the key muscles are grouped into the quadricep, which are the front of the thigh. They include the rectus femoris, the vastus mediaris, the vactus lateralis, the vactus intermedius, and these muscles extend the knee. Then the second grouping is the hamstring, which is the back of the thigh. And it includes the bicep femoris, the semitendineous, and the semimembranous. Now, these muscles actually flex the knee and they also assist in rotation of the knee. Then, the third classification is the patella tendon. The patella tendon connects the quadricep muscles to the tibia and aids in knee extension. Now, let's talk about the synovial membrane. The knee joint contains synovial membrane and it produces synovial fluid, which helps to lubricate the joint and reduce friction. Now let's talk about the functions of the knee joint. The knee joint serves multiple functions, which include the weight bearing, it supports the body's weight, doing standing and walking and also running. And number two is movement. It allows flexion, which is bending, extension, straightening, and also allows slight rotation. Number three is shock absorption. The menisci and the cartilage helps to absorb impact forces. And then number four, stability. 
Ligaments and muscles provide stability for movement and weight bearing. Now let's talk about the common injuries to the knee joint. Now due to its complexity and heavy usage, the knee joint is susceptible to knee injuries such as the ACL tears which is often caused by sudden stops or changes in direction or sports injury. It is actually common in sports injury and then the meniscus tear which can result from twisting motions and especially in athletes. Then we also have osteoarthritis which is a degenerative condition which is caused by cartilage wear and tear over. So finally, the knee joint is actually a vital structure that enables movement, supports the body and also absorbs impact from contact forces. And it is its complex anatomy which includes the bones, ligaments, the cartilage, the muscles and the synovial structures ensure for proper function and stability. Thanks for watching. You can also find other videos on anatomy on my channel page and watch them to gain more knowledge and also this is actually an overview of the knee joint you can find other materials to enhance your knowledge so good luck in whatever examination you are preparing for until next time thanks for stopping by